are some pointers. <laughs> But we do want to talk about it because the surgery can make that worse and we want to talk a little bit about that. Kidney stones are one of the things that turn out they're quite common in the United States. They're, uh, the numbers of people who get kidney stones is actually huge. There's actually areas in the United States that are known as stone belts. It's kind of across the midsection of the United States where there are a lot of people who get kidney stones. But there are a couple of pointers that we can help you with and that we'd like you to know about and I'll keep it in this video. And, uh, you can contact me if you need any more information. But basically, most kidney stones in the United States are calcium oxalate stones. Did you have calcium stones? Mm -hmm. All right. Calcium oxalate stones happen when, wait for it, calcium and oxalate form a stone. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> anyways. Uh, and, but they form a stone, they form a precipitate, they form an insoluble chemical in your urine. And again, a little bit of that, if it goes out through the urine, is okay. It's when enough of it forms into a stone that can't get out when we suffer. And that's real suffering. That pain of a kidney stone is intense. I'll tell you my story. I was actually operating. I had five cases one day. And at the end of the last case of the day, I probably wasn't drinking enough fluids and things like that. I was towards the end of the case, and all of a sudden, I felt like a, somebody had come in and shot me with a gun. You know, I was like, <coughs> and I was operating, you know. And uh, so I said, well, and everybody's, you know, what's going on? And I said, nothing. <laughs> so it kind of nerve made everybody in the operating room nervous, you know, because I'm the only operating surgeon there. And so they're wondering, what should we do? Just leave the ports in and. And, uh, but so that it was funny because they have, you ever seen on TV where the nurse comes and blots here, you know, because I, I popped out in a sweat and I said, I think I can finish up. <laughs> so they're putting cold compresses. We finished the surgery and um, they got brought in a wheelchair and then took me out in a wheelchair to go talk to the patient's family, you know. And the <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I think she's fine, <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> so they took me over to the ear. So I, uh, you know, I'm with you on the pain there. <laughs> so uh, we don't want to get kidney stones. So what can we do? For, so as I just pointed out, there's calcium and there's oxalate. And so you don't want a lot of both of those chemicals in your urine. And there's some things that are obvious that you can do. One, you can look out for oxalate containing foods and that's spinach and chocolate and other things, and don't eat tons of those things if you don't want kidney stones. <clears throat> okay. The other thing is, and this is really tricky, if you wanted to prevent kidney stones of calcium monoxalate in the urine, you might eat extra calcium. Mm. Right? right? <laughs> in other words, what you'd like to do is have the calcium bind to the oxalate in your gut before it gets absorbed. So in the past, when you had calcium oxalate stones, the urologist would say, warning, go on a low calcium diet. And they found, no. What you want is a moderate calcium diet with a little bit of extra calcium in the gut so that if you've got some oxalate, bind it there before you digest it and absorb it, and then you have to excrete it in your urine. Because oxalate is a uh, particular chemical molecule that we don't metabolize, we just say high oxalate and then we put it in our urine and get rid of it. So one, eat less oxalate and if you're eating something that has oxalate, eat something with a little calcium like Tums to bind to the oxalate in the gut so it doesn't get absorbed. So a little supplemental Tums is good because it stays in the gut and can help protect you from kidney stones. Another thing that can help protect from the kidney stones is something that can dissolve oxalate in urine and water and blood, and that's called citrate. And citrate is in citrus fruits, and so orange juice every morning is a good idea for all MGB patients. And it has two advantages. One, it's citrate, so it helps bind the oxalate, and two, when you drink the orange juice in the morning, it's a test of your new stomach. Because if you have an ulcer or gastritis there and you take some fresh, tangy orange juice and drink it and it hits that ulcer, you're going to go, what? Ooh. Ah. 
So every morning we like our patients to do the orange juice test. The citrate is good for protecting against kidney stones long term and lots of juices and lemons and uh, grapefruits are good for protecting against calcium oxalate stones. And the orange juice test is good for testing to see how your MGB is. Now, did your urologist talk to you about your kidney stones? Um, they just said that... Drink more water? Yeah, and, well, and they said the sports drinks. They said to lay off the sports drinks as much. Stay away from the... Gatorade? Gatorade. I wonder why. Did you say why? They just said that they're finding that people who... Drink tons of them are bad. A lot of sports drinks have problems with kidney I'll have to look that up. I, I did not know that. You definitely want to drink more, so... Good. All right. So that so maybe my my couple of pointers helped you a little.